Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Real Room Show number 90. Well, I mentioned in the show I did the last one or the previous one, where I was talking about batteries, that I was going to try to set up a little experiment to test AA batteries, since I use those a lot in my electronics. So, I put this kit to put together this little test setup. It's not very scientific, but hopefully it will give me some indication of battery capacity. And I'm, in this case, I'm talking about AA batteries. So I'm going to move the camera over and show you what I'm going to use for my setup. It's not going to be the setup because I'm going to take these components down to my garage and set it up there because it has to run for until the batteries die and I've got several types of batteries I want to try so it's going to take a while so this is kind of just a, an introductory of what I'm going to do and then I'll have another video of the test results so I'm going to move the camera over and try to show you my setup oh sorry for the other uh, jittering Okay, this is the uh, meter I'm going to use. Why am I using this meter? It's an old accurate instrument, uh, DVM, or actually it's a VTVM, vacuum tube voltmeter. Um, the reason I'm using it is it's because it's AC powered. And since this test is going to take a while and it's going to be monitoring all that time, I need something that's not going to die on me because of the batteries, you know. Testing batteries, and I don't want to have a meter that's battery operated. So that's why I'm using this old meter. It's just going to give me an indication. I don't know how well the dial is going to show up on the recorder I'm going to use. Hmm, I don't have the recorder I'm going to use. Oh well. I'm going to use my um, wildlife camera. And why am I using the wildlife camera is because the, this particular one will take time lapse photography and you can set up the interval. So instead of, you know, having a continuous recording for eight or nine hours, I'll have the uh, time lapse and I'll set it to its maximum, which I think it's a, it takes a snapshot every 10 seconds. So I'm going to use that for my recording device. And down here, I have a, here's a holder I found. It normally is set up for two batteries. I'm going to rewire it so that it, it, I can just use one battery like shown here. So I only burn up one battery at a time. And uh, then I found a resistor for to use for a load. This particular resistor is 33 ohms. Why 33 ohms? Because that's what I found. It's the closest thing I could find to uh, provide me I wanted 50 milliamp, uh, 50 milliamp load, and this is the closest thing I could find. And then I have various batteries that I bought it. Um, the what prompted me to do this is I was at the uh, dollar store, one of my favorite stores. Pretty sad when dollar store is your favorite store. Um, and they had a whole new line of batteries, these cheapo batteries. For him, for instance, this is a four pack of Panasonic carbon zinc batteries so you got four for a dollar so that's a quarter a piece here is a set of eight sunbeam <laughs> sunbeam i don't think sunbeam makes these batteries uh super heavy duty batteries so that's 12 and a half cents a battery eight for a dollar and it says up in the corner, you probably can't see it, it says best for low drain devices. Yeah, I can understand that. And there's all kinds of uh, happy writing on here, which is uh, in such fine print I can't read it. So anyway, so we got those two. Then here's another Panasonic, different price range. You only get two of these. So these are 50 cents a piece. That's not very cheap. But the price of batteries has really gone up. 
So that's those. Now, here's some batteries I have on hand. Here is some marked Super Alkaline manufactured, not manufactured, but it's got on here AC Delco, which of course makes parts for cars. So you would think these are pretty good batteries. In my heavy drain devices, which my camera is one of them, uh, these are only good for about uh, 24 hours. That's about all they're good for. Okay, so that's those. Here's uh, another bundle I got of batteries. And I think I think I bought these, it was a hundred for twenty dollars. So that's about twenty cents a piece. If I did the math right. And then I got these. These are Radio Shack energy cell batteries. And I got these, I think, for about 25 cents a piece in bulk. Again, off of Amazon. And then, these are the ones I've been buying lately. These are energizers. And they are, hmm, this says energizers. Anyway, I, I've been getting these at Sam's Club, and they're pretty good. They hold up pretty good. Again, they're alkaline batteries. All these are alkaline except the ones of Panasonic, which are zinc, carbon zinc, excuse me, carbon zinc, which I'm going to test these first because they'll probably last about 15 minutes. So that's that one. This is the, uh, my experience, this has been the best. Uh, battery from Duracell and I used to always get these at Sam again it's a it's an alkaline battery and uh, they give you you know the best service just based on how long a device lasts with these in there but these have gone way up in price they are I used to get them for 35 cents a piece now they're over 50 cents a piece I think they're close to 60 or 65 cents a piece. So I've stopped buying these because they're so expensive and I'm looking at these alternates. So anyway, that's going to be my test setup. I'm going to have to rewire this. So like I said, I want to make this for, I'm going to move this wire here back to here so I can have this for a single cell. I'll put the load across it and then I'll hook up the meter and the camera will be on the uh, meter and it'll uh, show me the voltage. I'll be measuring voltage. Uh, over a time span until it gets down to like probably a, a volt is usually where the knee is at about a volt. I'll look and see. See how it goes. But anyway, that's going to be my test setup. Those are the batteries I'm going to test. So um, the next show I'll do is the results of this testing. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, I always like thumbs up if you enjoyed this show. If you didn't like it or if you really thought it stuck, give me a thumbs down. That's okay. Won't hurt my feelings. Thanks for watching. That's the show for today. Bye-bye.